bring back any crystals? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. Hey, Will, how you doing? Great, better than great, magnificent. Well enough that I'm tempted to add cuss words for emphasis. You found something. I damn well did indeed. I found a special spell of protection that should give the Master a big old eviction notice. Get him out of Angel's body and keep him from going back in. Yay me! Now all you have to do is find the Master's new hideout. Let it be known that Willow was not the only one who was useful. Let me guess. You painted your nails, went out for pizza, and pumped up your own tire this time. Actually, Cordelia was quite helpful. Thank you, Giles. See? Quite helpful. Looks like I'm doing all the hard work around here tonight. I helped Giles research those funky tattoos on the two vamps, that snake shapeshifter and the other one. Looks like there's some kind of magical thingy that allows a vampire to get down with its inner animal aspect. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Take this, Buffy. These new techniques will better prepare you for the dangers that lie ahead. I'm all about technique, but couldn't we put the dangers behind us at some point? I, for one, deserve an ice cream type reward. I was pretty impressive out there, if I do say so myself. And you do. Working that crane, fighting vamps, falling unconscious. I was a sight to behold. Trust me. Sit tight, Giles. I'm going to head out and beat the brush a little, see what scurries out. Have a care, Buffy. The master may be attempting to lure you into a trap. Again? That trick never works. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Besides, there are other students in the building, and they'll need someone looking out for them. Good luck. Sparkly thingy to add to my collection of sparkly thingies. I'll get a die. Let's go, Slick. <gasps> Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. <laughs> Day. I feel like a new slayer. Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. Somebody call for help! Somebody, please! Oh my. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of 
demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Holy water. Don't leave home without it. Huh? What was that? What's with the hide and seek, Slayer? Too much for you? <coughs> Let's go! <laughs> a garden implement. Second, I want you to have this. Thank you. Just hold. 
hold that pose, sweetheart. You never should have walked into my sleep round. Nothing like a brisk walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night.
Buffy, not to add chaos to catastrophe, but Xander overheard two Aurelius vamps talking about a package in the boiler room. The exploding kind. They're gonna blow up the school. Normally a cause for celebration, especially considering the history paper I just handed in. But, silly me, I'd rather the school not explode with us on the inside. Not to mention all the other people in the school right now, and Giles will be so sad about the books. Off to the boiler room to play Bomb Squad. Get everyone else out of here, Will, because, you know, I'm not really a member of the Bomb Squad. Going. Quickly. Don't blow up. Time for the big finish. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Let's go, Slayer. I want to know what makes you so special. Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to win. Can't win, Slayer. There's only one of you. There's an endless one of us. A new slayer. Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. Let's go. I was just wondering if Spike's the big bad. What does that mean? Yeah. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Girl, a break. Hey, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I have always been to see that. You want a piece of me? I'll give you the whole damn pie. Guess you wish it's 
stayed home tonight. Good evening, Slayer. Guess you're kind of sore about me dusting your snaky girlfriend. You're a formidable prey, Slayer. But now, <laughs> you face a truly worthy adversary. Here, kitty kitty. guy doesn't do the whole ashes to ashes thing or maybe his inner animal is more possum than tiger bad possum never much cared for cats more of a dog person really shape shifting like that sometimes the heart isn't in the same place Got to be more persistent, Slayer. And sometimes, you just need a longer shaft. All right, Spike. What's going on? Spill it. Excuse me, young miss. Let me remind you that I just saved your life. You can come down from DEFCON 1 now. I'm here to form a truce. You know, bury the hatchet. That sort of thing. We have a common enemy, you and I. 
and an alliance might just prove beneficial. Or have you forgotten all about your blood-sucking boy toy being hijacked by the master? Yeah, well, lovely to see you lot again as well. You're on borrowed time, Spike, alive by our sufferance. Perhaps you ought to skip the pleasantries. Right, if that's the way it is. So much for manners, eh, Giles? Something tells me you've been in America too long. Here's the deal. A big bad old one by the name of Leibach is attempting to build a bridge between his tropical paradise of a demon dimension and our little plane of existence here. He plans to lead an army of demons into this world. Leibach needed the Master's expertise in opening dimensional portals and the Dreamers to alter reality and physically create the bridge to bring Leibach's boys over to our side. And you've been Aaron Boy this whole time? Truth? I'm about as keen on Leibach's little plan as I was on Angelus's plot to let a Cathala run amok. The main reason I'm doing this is because Leibach has Drew in some kind of trance. And if I don't help, he'll take her lovely, fragile dove of a mind and put it through a blender. But I don't like being a lap dog. And since the Master's been back, things have gone from bad to badder as far as I'm concerned. The Master may be my great-great-grandsire, but the guy's a complete tosser. I don't trust him as far as you could throw him. Of course, it doesn't help matters much now that he gels his hair. If you catch my meaning. So now you want to throw in with us, and I'm just supposed to trust you. You're betraying your allies now. Explain to me again why that should inspire confidence. Best reason in the world, Slayer. Because they're the bad guys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, remember? Look, I'll lead you to the Master's Lair and lend a hand with the fisticuffs, and in return, you help me rescue Drew. Then we'll be off again, out of your hair. If I agree, you don't touch Angel either. We're going to exorcise the Master from him. Fine with me. But in that case, the Watcher and Little Willow here are gonna have to whip up a special elixir or something witchy for me and Drew. In Casper mode, the Master has the power to possess any vampire of his bloodline, which includes the both of us, yeah? Willow and I have just completed a spell of protection for Angel that should work equally well for the two of you. See? No, it'd be no problem. Red's got that mojo working overtime these days. So, it's a deal, then? I haven't forgotten what happened last time I trusted you. Double-cross us, and I'll put both you and your psycho flower-child girlfriend in an urn. Whatever happened to taking a man at his word? I believe we need to augment your combat skills. Please study the techniques illustrated on this page. Joy, more and more complicated ways to monster mash. You know that old saying, better the devil you know than the devil you don't? What happens when you know them all and way too well? Distasteful as it is to align ourselves with Spike, it does seem to be the sensible course of action, as long as we keep our priorities straight. The most vital element of our attack must be the disruption of Lyback's spell to augment the power of the remaining dreamers. Everything else is secondary. Everything else? Everything. The rescue of Drusilla, even Angel's safety. Reality as we know it hangs in the balance. Doesn't it always? I'm not sure I like this idea. Doesn't my vote count? This isn't a democracy, Xander. It's a slayerarchy. So you're a tyrant now? No. I'm the girl saving the world from the forces of darkness, which means if you want to help, you follow the plan. World, no world, hmm. Seeing the wisdom in the slayerarchy suddenly. Though, still feel the need to object to trusting Spike into saving Drusilla. Let's not forget, Drusilla and I have a bit of history. I paid for her to get the wrong idea or anything. Remember, she was jonesing for me pretty bad there for a while. That was because a witch put a love spell on her. You silly git. So you say, but you didn't see the look in her eyes. I'm thinking it was more than magic that night, and... Shut your gob, boy, before I rip your throat out. Hey! Can we just go? I've been ready. So you're set with the spell to get the Master out of Angel? Angel's probably fighting him already, but he's gonna need you to give him an edge. Fine. What do I have to do? Well, okay. It really wouldn't hurt if you maybe kicked his ass a little. You need to weaken the Master's hold on him. What are you looking at me for? Haven't I done enough for one night? I twisted my ankle, I'm bruised and battered, and I broke a nail. 
I'm gonna have to sit this one out, and I am all broken up about it, too. Now maybe I can go home and meditate on why I wasted my whole night with you people. I don't understand. I killed one of the Dreamers. How's the Master going to build this bridge? He and his chum Lyback are planning on creating something called the Deglon Sphere. The way I understand it, it's got something to do with amplifying the powers of the surviving Dreamers. 